All right, today is July 16th, 2024. I am 19 years old. My name is Fikayo, and I'm going to be talking about the 2024 presidential election as a 19 year old, right? I don't really know a bunch about the whole po political state of the world right now, but I'm going to say what I do know and I'm going to make it a video, all right? <laughs> So I'm 19 years old, and let's first start it off. I'm not going to be voting for anybody this year. And I think it's very interesting that both presidents are like 80 years old. Like, that's the first thing I'm going to say. Like, I'm literally a, like a teenager. I'm 19, right? How are both the people that are going to be making the decisions for the future like not gonna be on on this planet for the future like i don't think either of these people are going to be here in the next 25 years that's just a, it's gonna it's it's just a fact none of these people are going to be here for the in the next 25 years but they're making decisions that are going to impact the next 50 years so it doesn't really make any sense right that's just like the first thing i want to say because why why like why can't there be any any other younger person you know is there like is there even any other candidates in the in the in the race like i i genuinely don't know so like i'm not gonna vote because like everyone always says your vote matters so much but me not voting one singular person not voting it, it doesn't really matter right like i just don't i don't care like I, I've been thinking about it, but whenever we get a new president, my life literally doesn't change at all. Like when we went from, oh, there's a fly there, but when we went from Obama to Trump or Trump to Biden, my life hasn't changed whatsoever. I still go to school every day. I still got to do homework. Um, I still go to sleep. I still live in my house. Like, it, like I haven't been sent to war or anything. Like my life doesn't change no matter who's the president. So that's just another thing for me, right? Maybe it's because, like, I don't pay taxes. I mean, I, oh, I pay taxes. I pay taxes. Let me say I pay my taxes, but I don't, like, have a house. I don't have a mortgage. I don't have to, like, I'm not ready to retire, you know, stuff like that. So it's not really going to affect me because I'm still young. But it's very weird that, like, it's it's always old people. And, like, I also want to question this. Was Barack Obama a good president? I have no idea. I just remember people always liking him because he was black. And that's all I heard. He might have been the best president. Like, I don't, I don't think he's an awful president. Like, you know, I don't think he's an awful president. Like, I don't even know what the standard for a good president is. I, I don't know. But, yeah, was can, if someone's watching this, can someone answer the question, was Barack Obama a good president? Like, what did he do? I don't know. I was asking my friends this yesterday because we were all just sitting at McDonald's. But what did Barack Obama do? And it's not even in like a demeaning way. It's like, like what, did he, what did he even do for this country? It's like a, I genuinely don't know what what, did, what he did. I was still young, bro. When he was elected for president, I was like three years old. So I just, I just don't know. Um, What else did I want to say? Oh, yeah. The whole like um Trump getting shot thing. I'm going to talk about that because that's like still relevant news. Was that real or fake? Okay, it was real. It was real because a whole other person died, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it's fake. But it's very like interesting that we that we have to question this stuff. Like, uh this is someone that's gonna be running for the president of the biggest economy and country in the world. And we're questioning if if we're if we're doing movie stunts for the presidential debate, you know? very interesting things that are going on in this country um and do i think it was real yes i think it was real um but yeah i'm not gonna say too much on that it was real someone died so rest in peace that person um what did i want to say oh yeah about joe biden right joe biden he's old he's he he's a lot more slower like um, mentally slower than where he was in the past. Like he forgets stuff, you know, he can't, um, say things properly. And how can you let someone like him be in charge of the country? Right. 
it doesn't it doesn't make the most sense to me. And I'm not saying, oh, Joe Biden is this, this, vote for Trump. I'm just like, I'm just saying like the cons. I'm going to say the cons for Trump too, but let me finish Biden, right? Biden is 81 and he could barely speak, right? He could barely speak, right? And it's just very interesting that like, this is who like other countries are going to communicate to like one, if they want to make a decision. Like if, if we, if North Korea or something wants to attack America and we have to convince them not to, they're going to talk to Joe Biden, right? And Joe Biden's like, uh, uh, what did he say? And like, it's just so weird. Why are we relying on this? Why can't people be young, right? Why? Like the age limit, you have to be just 35, bro. Just 35 to be president. But nobody young seems to do it. Because I feel like once you're 35, you don't have enough money to run for president. Being president or running for president costs a lot of money. You know, you have to do a bunch of campaigns, advertisements. So you can't just run for president if you're broke because nobody's going to know about you, you know? And uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Let me talk about more cons about Biden. He's old, but people do like his... Um, um, his, um, view of things, I think. Uh, yeah, I think people do like his views of things, you know, he doesn't want to like, you know, ban all this stuff and, you know, kick people out and stuff like Trump wants to do. But one thing he does like, what was it? What was it? Oh yeah. One thing that people don't like about Biden is that like, ever since he became president in 2020, that's when like inflation got really bad. Like, this is like when people were complaining about gas prices, like if you go out somewhere, you're just not going to spend a hundred. You can't go out, out outside of your house without spending a hundred dollars. And I feel like that's true. And it's just like the housing market and stuff like that. Like you can't buy a house anywhere for like less than $300,000 if you want it to be good. But the average American salary has barely gone up. So how do people expect to buy a house? For a half a million dollars when they're only making sixty thousand dollars a year you know it, it it doesn't make sense right it doesn't make sense and it's like you're getting you're getting the same thing that you would get in the past but it's more expensive now i went to mcdonald's yesterday with my friends right tell me why a mcchicken was four dollars with tax but back in the day, and like, I'm not even talking about like, you know, 50 years ago, I'm talking about like maybe 2013, 2014, a McChicken was like $1, $2, right? Like what is, what is going on with that inflation? And like McDonald's used to be super cheap. Like I, I just went to McDonald's just that I got a, I got a McDonald's meal, right? It was the, um, it was the deluxe sandwich or something like that with a drink and fries, right? It was $12, bro. McDonald's supposed to be the cheap alternative. What is going on? Why Why am I paying so much? And like everything is just so expensive, right? Like I was also talking with my friend yesterday. We just going clothes shopping. And then I'm like, dang, why is why is a pair of pants $50? Why is a shirt, a, a plain shirt, $40, $50? And he's like, uh, that's just the price of things that way it is. I'm like, why? Why? Like on Christmas... You never wanted to ask for, um, you never wanted to ask for socks or underwear or like shirts for Christmas. You always just wanted toys, but now just, just give me socks. I went to, I went to Dick Sporting Goods yesterday looking for just some white Nike socks, right? Thinking, you know, maybe they're going to be like 10, $12. They were $28 for a pair of, of white Nike socks. What is that, man? Like, what is that? $28 for Nike socks. And the craziest thing is like, I went to that same Dick Sporting Goods like maybe four months ago and they were like $22. So it increased by $6. Are you like, what? It just doesn't make sense, man. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like it's these companies too. Like they have to realize that they don't, they don't have to realize that's the thing. People are going to buy whatever, whatever these companies sell, no matter what, because what are you going to do? Not buy the the things you've been buying for the last 20 years? Like if if the gas prices go up $20, it's going to suck, but people are still going to have to get gas. You know what I'm saying? Like people are going to buy it either way. It's just going to be like, you're going to have to do that every time you look at the gas prices, right? 
Oof. And I'm not even going to like necessarily blame it on um, Joe Biden. I don't think... It, it, I don't think it, I don't really think it's his fault that the inflation arised everywhere, but it's definitely a thing, you know. I don't know. I don't know if inflation is bad in Europe or other countries, because I'm always so self-centered about America. Like I'm thinking, you know, all this bad stuff is happening in the world, but if I if I move to somewhere like pff, Australia or um or the United Kingdom. I probably wouldn't even experience any of this stuff, right? It's the craziest thing ever how America is like, it always thinks that I may focus, but it's just like one part of the world. Like if I went just up north to Canada, I probably, actually maybe, I don't know. I don't know if Canada has inflation like that, but I probably wouldn't just be experiencing this stuff. It's just crazy how I think, I'm thinking in my mind, oh yeah, the world has just been bad ever since Joe Biden has been president, but Joe Biden is the united states president he isn't the president of the world right so can't blame everything on him you know it's not it's not his fault but it's also covid covid i can blame it on i'm gonna blame it on covid that, that's 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 the thing covid i don't know what exactly about covid made prices go higher i don't i don't know but it happened all over the world so i can blame it and that's what i'm gonna do um what else did i want to say or should i just move on to trump all right, let me let me move on to Trump, right? <sighs> Donald J. Trump. All right, Donald Trump. He's a very how do I? He's like a very like I don't know. I want to say like redneck, but he's like a very redneck president. He's like you know, America, make America great again. <laughs> make America great again. You know, he's gonna. I feel like people from Texas would really like him, and I think they do. I'm from, I'm literally, literally living in Texas, and I feel like most people here would be uh, Donald Trump. Uh, what's it called? Would vote for Donald Trump, and I just think it's interesting. You know, same thing with Joe Biden. Donald Trump is 79 years old. I think he's turning 80 years old this year, so he's not not gonna be here in 25 years. Like. They're just both old, bro. And I feel like Donald Trump is more modern. Not more modern, but he's more um in tune with um what people are like what what this generation is doing. Cause no, I see I see him at boxing events, I see him with influ influencers doing podcasts. He made a TikTok account. Like he's definitely more in tune than Joe Biden. He's definitely not as like mentally he's definitely more mentally there than like um, Joe Biden, because he could still form sentences, he can remember what he's saying, but, like, who knows what he's gonna look like in four years when he's 83, 84, you know? Pushing 90 years old. 90? Oh my goodness, bro. 90? Bro, these presidents were born before World War One or Two. Yeah, they were definitely born before either World War One or World War Two. I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to history class. Yeah, I'm talking about this, you know. I'm not an expert in this field. I'm just a 19-year-old kid talking about the political and economic state of the world right now. But, oh, yeah, Trump, he's a make America great, you know, um, red states. They're going to vote for him. And it's very interesting that, like, he has a, a loyal fan base, like... When he got shot, he uh, put his hand in the air to like make a um, a representation that all his supporters should unite because he's like, yeah, I'm really strong. You know, I just got shot, but I'm still here. We should unite, you know? And I feel like that's a, uh, he's smart for doing that because he knows his supporters are really gonna like that. They're like, oh yeah, we want a tough president. We want some guy who, who could get shot. He's gonna get back up and stuff like that. And I think uh, he, he definitely is probably going to I think he's going to win. I think he's just going to win. You know, I'm not saying I want him. I don't want or I want Biden or I don't want vice versa. Like, I don't really care who wins. I'm not going to vote. It doesn't affect my life in any way, to be honest, at least for now. I'm not old enough for the, to for it to really affect my life. But, uh, yeah, I just don't think that I think that by uh, Trump is just more. Mm, so I say, I don't know if the word is smarter. He's just definitely a more publicly opinionated swayer. He knows how to sway the public opinion, right? Like 
once Trump sh got shot, everyone felt bad for him. You know, he's like, dang, this 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 president just got shot and he's still up there. You know, he's still rallying the troops. This is what we need and stuff like that. He's smart, you know. Do I? I don't think it was fake, you know. So I think he is. This, like, that's strong, you know. You just got shot or something, you know. You're bleeding from your ear on the stage. Millions of people are watching this, and you're like, no, nah, I'm not gonna just go out, you know. I'm not gonna just get carried out by my security. I'm just gonna stand with my troops, you know. Like that, that's t that's tough. That was aura. That was aura. If you're if you don't talk about that was aura, but um, yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> very interesting that uh that historical event just happened in our lifetimes and it's gonna be in history books that's gonna that's gonna be in history books i just witnessed history someone somewhere is probably writing the history book right now that, that they're gonna use for class of 2070 but yeah the presidential election for 2024 i'm not gonna really vote i don't really care but one thing i would want is just get rid of student student or forgive student loans forever. I don't understand why, as a president, if you want young people to vote for you, like people who are like in high school, in college, just graduating college, you know, like 20s to 30s to 40s, I think you just cancel student loans. I don't know if you could just do that. I, I don't know. I'm not into politics. I don't really know what a president can or can't do. Should definitely do that if you want young people to vote for you. At least that's just my opinion on the matter. And I also one thing I don't like about the president stuff is that I've seen on Twitter I see Joe Biden tweet a lot saying, you know, if I was president or if I'm reelected for president, I'll I'll do this, this, and this. Or you know, somebody needs to stop this from happening. It's like, bro, you're the president. You've been the president for four years now. Like. You could have done something. And I know there's other parts of the, the branch legislative and the Supreme Court and stuff like that. So you can obviously get overruled because majority rules to prevent a dictatorship in the U.S. government. But it's just interesting that they only use the tactics of saying, you know, I'll do this once their term is coming to an end, you know? It's not like you've been president for four years and you could have tried fighting to get this stuff, you know, make it so it's not going to happen. But so I have to focus on other stuff, you know, that's fine. But I feel like I don't know what Joe Biden did in his presidency because, you know, Obama had Obamacare. That's one thing I know because I was talking about. I don't know what Obama did in the beginning of the video, but he did make Obamacare. I know um, Donald Trump was like the wall for the border, the Mexican border thing, something like that. I don't know if that actually ever happened. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. And I don't know what Joe Biden did. Did he like, I don't know. Like, what, what was his standout thing? You know, I don't know. And if you're watching this video, let me know who you would vote for. If you, you can vote, even if you're not old enough to vote, who would you vote for? Because I was talking to my friend the other day and I was asking, you know, she, no, I, I told her I'm not voting. And she was like, yeah, you're the problem with this society nowadays because you're not voting. And I'm like, why? How does me not voting affect? How does me not, how is me not voting a bad thing? You know, I, if I'm not voting, I'm not voting for somebody bad, right? Like it's not gonna make a difference, right? But if you know why that's a problem, let me know in the comments, I, I don't know. Is there anything else I want to say? Is there anything else? I'm basically just yapping today. Just a yap session. Straight yap. Um, I don't know when the presidential election is. I don't know if they become president this year, next year. I know Biden did become president in 2020. So I would think four years would be up in 2024, which is this year. But I don't know when the actual, like, whoever would win would go back, would actually go into office. Like... Is there like a date, the official date where you can't vote anymore? And then that day where you find out who the winner is, like, President Austria is so weird, but it is, it is a big thing, you know, being president of the United States is a big thing. Also, I think Mr. Beast, I saw a tweet the other day saying Mr. Beast would like to run for president of the United States. Mr. Beast being president of the United States would definitely be, um, 
an interesting thing. I don't know what Mr. Beast would do. Like, I know he would try to do good, but I feel like people would still get mad at him. Like, just like when Mr. Beast did the um, built houses for people struggling in other countries, people were mad about him in that video saying, oh, um, come back in 10 years and see what those houses look like. Or why did he do it in, in poor countries, but not in the United States where he lives? He doesn't support America. So no matter what Mr. Beast does, people are going to be mad that, you know, He's not doing this or he's not doing that. And I feel like you can't ever win as a president because there's two sides and that's what they did for a reason to split the humans apart. You know, everyone, everyone can't agree. Everyone can't agree. They don't want that. You know, that's why there's Democrats and Republicans, because if, if everyone agrees, then we could work together to make anything happen. But mm -mm, we don't we don't want that to happen. There's no drama when everyone's working together and everyone's being nice. There's no drama, you know? There's no entertainment in that. But do I think Mr. Beast would be a good president? <sighs> I don't think so. Let me let me tell you why. I feel like Mr. Beast would... Um, I know this sounds bad. I feel like Mr. Beast would be too focused on helping people that... Um, Helping people all over the world that aren't just American, right? So let's say um, there's a problem in like Australia or something like that. Mr. Beast would be like, oh, but these people are, are in Australia. But like, bro, you're the president of the United States. You have to help the United States first rather than, you know, everyone else. You know, the, your country comes first. So you have to help them first. I feel like Mr. Beast is all for like equality and helping everyone equally. But when you're president, you got to take care of your people. That's why they voted you in. And I feel like Mr. Beast wouldn't make, wouldn't want to make the hard decisions. Like if he has to like do something, it's like, oh, it's like, I feel like Mr. Beast wouldn't want to do that. Or like he, he just like would fight for what he wants, you know? And I don't think a lot of people would agree with that, so... That's just my thoughts on that. I don't think he would be a bad president, but I don't think he would be like the best one ever, you know, because it's just hard to be a, a president. I don't know what's a good president. Like, who is the, who's the top, who, what are your, what are your guys' top five presidents of all time? Because I don't have a list. I only know, was George Bush before Obama? From George Bush to now, that's all the presidents I know. And I know George Washington was the first president. Or was that Abraham Lincoln? I think it was George Washington, though. But George Washington and then George Bush all the way to Joe Biden. That's all I know. I don't know anything else. I don't know. I don't know the president of the 1999s or the whatever. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about my opinions on the political and economic state of the world right now. Even though I'm 19. And I don't really know anything about this. So, if you guys enjoyed, like this video and comment some stuff. Because I, I want to be educated in this video. So, let me know.